Hello friends, Paul Shin from the YouTube channel that's making Model A's cool again. Today we're touring. Model T and I are headed to Eagle's Nest. It's someplace very, very special. We can't wait to take you with us. Okay, here they come. Now watch this. You won't even feel it. It's like they weren't even there. It's totally we're not there. Right? Now if you do that in the modern car, you'll feel it and hear it. Oh, I always hear it feel it when I'm in my jeans. Yep, here we go. Here's another set. You ready? They're not even there. Nothing. Yep. Fast Model A suspension right there. I'll leave a message. Hello, midlife crisis? It's Paul. Hey, I've been waiting for you. You gonna show up or not? Well, until you do, we'll just keep doing stuff. Talk to you later. Made it. Kiss the ground. here at Eagle's Nest, just a little bit outside of Ione, California, at a very special place called Sanders Aeronautic. Lots of cool stuff happens here. This is where they manufacture those smoke generators that airplanes use and air shows and stuff like that. Plus, they do a lot of aircraft restoration, particularly World War II airplanes. We're going to take you on a tour. Uh, first off, thanks for all everybody coming out and bringing the beautiful cars. That's a spectacular lineup we got going there today. So. I like that. Uh, my name's David Murray. I'm uh, one of the volunteers out here at Sanders Aeronautics. Um, so uh, Sanders Aeronautics, uh, they've actually got, it, it's, it's a unique business. Um, they work uh, during the week, they work on two things. They work on restoring old aircraft and they work on smoke generators. And we'll get into the details of all that here in a, in a few minutes. There's three hangers that we'll kind of look at today. This is obviously a kind of hodgepodge of a lot of different things going on. So we're just gonna kind of take a peek here and I'll explain a couple cool things that are in there. Um, then we'll walk over to hangar one and uh, we'll show you the restoration business and we'll show you where they build smoke generators. Um, and then we'll, uh, I think the plan is if you guys like photographs and things like that, we'll take all the cars over to hangar three and uh, we'll let you guys park in front of 924, which is uh, kind of the, the crown jewel of the fleet. And uh, you guys can take pictures of your cars if you want to do that. Um, the hangar behind us, so as I said, it's kind of a hodgepodge of storage. It's, it's kind of the storage facility. You can see there's a lot of things back there. Um, the coolest thing in the back in, the, in this hangar though is the it's a Grumman TBM and that's the one with the wings folded up there in the back. Um, that is a World War II torpedo airplane and believe it or not they used to fly that off of aircraft carriers. The huge size of that airplane you really can't you really can't uh, you, you can't get a true respect for it until you see the wings out and fold it out and it's just it's just a beast of an airplane. I mean it's a huge airplane. This one used to be a fire bomber at one point in time. Um, and then uh, it was sold to a museum. Um, it ended up being in a flood in Texas. Um, water up to, it got up to the back of the tail. That's how, that's, that's how deep the water was on it. Um, and uh, so Sanders Aeronautics um, purchased that airplane. Um, they, all new wheels and brakes, all everything that's fabric on the airplane had to be refabricated. Um, they went down to Texas for about a month, worked on it pretty, pretty hard, and then flew it back home. That is a Sea Fury project there. So if anybody has a, has a ton of money, um, you know, as Dennis says, Sea Fury projects are not expensive, they're friggin' expensive. So if anybody's looking for a Sea Fury project, that one's actually for sale right now. Um, and uh, the Sanders family has uh, restored, I want to say, roughly 18 Sea Furies now over the years. And they are, uh, they're known, Dennis is known as the Sea Fury King, um, both from a flying perspective and from a um, restoration perspective as well. 
All the wings and things you see up here is for a biplane called N3Ns. They were uh, Navy airplanes. Um, the little airplane here is called a Smith mini plane. Um, and uh, it's, a, you know, just hop in it, go up, you know, go up, fly upside down, have, have a lot of fun in it. Um, cool little airplane um, to fly around in. It's owned by a couple, uh, a couple of the guys that work out here. Let's, uh, let's take a, we'll walk over to uh, Hangar 1 and we'll show you where uh, the smoke stuff's built first, then we'll show you the restoration shop and we'll go from there. We'll stop by and look at the T6s while we're going too. <laughs> And then you have to get out. I know. Just so you know, this, my friends, this is the sound of freedom. Still gives me goosebumps every time. And so this here is a machine shop. And as you can see, they've got all kinds of good stuff to build good parts with. So, um, they've got brake presses, you know, they've got lathes, they've got anything and everything that you're looking at. So, um, this is mainly focused on smoke generators in here. You can see the empty tubes behind you. And uh, I think somebody had pointed this out earlier, but uh, this mostly military utilize these. Um, and they, uh, they fit on the same rack as a uh, Sidewinder missile does for uh, F-16s, F-15s, things of that nature. And so a lot of foreign companies actually buy these. They use them for air shows and whatnot. And uh, then it's just easy on, easy off. Um, you put a dye in it, you put a hunter low lead in it, it's got a combustion chamber, and they make, they make just beautiful smoke out of it. Are um, they fully self-contained, or do they need a fuel supply from the aircraft? They do not, so you fill it up before you take off, okay. but they do get their power. There is a connection to the airplane, because you okay. have to like, turn it on and off. Okay. Um, if you have YouTube, I highly recommend going online and looking at uh, um, Sanders' uh, smoke demonstrations, and they've got great things on there. This is a customer's airplane. Uh, they both lived in uh, Reno, Nevada. For 10 years, they sat on the ramp and were dormant. And so we went up there and spent every weekend. We'd go up every Saturday morning, we'd leave here at five, we'd go up there, we'd work on it all day, we'd come back. Uh, we did this during the winter months for some reason, because it was fun to drive over the summit every weekend and get snowed on, so. Um, but eventually got this airplane down here, then got the other airplane down here, and it'll be good. Uh, this airplane's ready to fly. We're waiting on our pilot to come out here to fly this airplane, and then uh, people are going to get checked out on it and start flying it. Uh, the other airplane, well, it's a little further away, but eventually what will happen is that they're going to utilize that to uh, do smoke generator testing on it. to it. Um, they had to obviously stretch the cowl out on it. They had to put the overhead reduction on it to get air into the engine. Um, they, uh, they moved the oil cooler to the, or the oil tank to the back of the aircraft. It used to be back in the firewall there in a standard Sea Fury. They moved it to the back and uh, they increased the capacity. Argonaut has a 14 gallon tank on it. This one's got a 28 gallon tank on it. Um, the oil lines that run through the back of the airplane are like that. I mean, it's pretty impressive. <laughs>
according to Jay Leno, this is the engine that won World War II. Before departing, we all got an opportunity to park our Model A's in front of 924, the last Sea Fury still oh, flying with its original show. sleeve valve motor. Just amazing. Huge thanks to Sanders Aeronautical for letting us come tour their private collection. It is a private collection, so please don't get a hold of them and ask to come look. It's uh, by invitation only. This is one of the reasons why you join a club, because clubs get invited to amazing things like this that individually we never would have got invited to. So thank you so much for watching. Can't wait to see you on the next video.